Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place, waiting for you. What's up, guys? I'm Crazy Act. Welcome back to the Crooked Man. Okay, so, we just met Sissy, who has completely disappeared, just like magic. I mean, I did wait in there for a little bit, but, uh, yeah, she's just completely disappeared. She's off, you know, having her own adventure. So, um, let's take a look at what we have. Notebook scrap. Yeah, that's good. Wire cutters. Right, I have those, so I can go open this door back here and hopefully get a master key for the hotel. I'm gonna guess not, though. Oh, why can't I use them? Come on. There's wire on the doorknob. Snip, snip. Cut the wire with wire cutters. Hello, room. Can I, can I read this? A notebook. Zero slash X. Door in room 107 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to 107, okay. That's good. Trash can is full of crumbled paper, full of miscellaneous goods. Is the code in here for that door? Is it? Four chapters of the book have been have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. All right, I'll keep my eye out. Journals and account books and tourist magazines. Owner's room, no doorknob. Question marks? I hear something. I hear it now. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Kick it down, bro. You look strong enough. Trash can is full of crumble paper. Okay, fine. All right. And everyone set out. Landscape painting. Clock is stopped. All right, fine. So let's go to 107 then, which I believe was this one. Nope. Wait, wait. What? This is... Oh, it was that one. Okay. Bathroom door. And a key. A doorknob. Oh, yeah, that journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm, he would work on that door without a knob. The same kind, I'll give it a shot. Got a doorknob. Door's no knob and won't open. Oh, so there's nothing useful in there? I have to go take it back to the other door? Okay, fine. I kind of figured I'd use it here, and then take it back out of the door, and then go to the other place and use it. Shelves are empty. Dresser's empty. Clock is stopped. Yeah, it's kind of funny. One thing that, you know exploration RPGs, not just horror, but basically any kind of exploration RPG does, is there's only a certain number of things you can do, so it's not really like free roam. Like, in real life, you'd probably try that and doorknob on a couple things if you tried it at all, but uh, you wouldn't magically know that it didn't need to be put into that one door, right? But anyway, luckily David is magical, so it doesn't really matter. Attach the doorknob. Of course, there's no one in here, but there's a trap door. That's wonderful. I'm with novels, tourist info and maps, and books about hotel administration. Book of the month, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Sissy, are you Dr. Jekyll? I mean, let's just, I just want to ask like straight out, blunt, straight up. Are you Dr. Jekyll? Because someone is. Uh, nothing else in here except the trap door. A small door which won't open doesn't seem to have a lock. Okay, I guess we never have to look at that or think about it again, right? <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, so what else do I have? Uh, I have a brass key. And that's it. And this was just a library. Wait, hang on. Hang on. It said the book of the month was The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. That'll be under T, probably. Oh, come on! That was clever! Unless it's called Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? No! Come on! That was actually clever! That made sense. Garbage can, wall... What? The tile seems a little loose. Okay, that was some serious observation skills that I lacked. I was examining the wall. I wanted to see if there was something maybe with the wall, but apparently the tile. Is that... There's a ladder, and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. Not like he gave me much of a choice. But yeah, that was, um... Odd. I didn't expect that. Can't see a thing. I need a light. You have one. Boop. Aw, oh, yeah. That's a very orange lighter. There's a can of gas there. Or lamp oil. That's fine. I well, used equipment. Am I gonna get a lamp somewhere down here? Cause that'd be nice. Miscellaneous goods. Cause I have cigarettes, but uh, 
It actually makes sense. You know, in some games, the character just like randomly carries a lighter with them, and I'm like, why, why do you have a lighter? I didn't even see that there. But in this at least makes sense, because he has cigarettes. A figure crouches on the floor. What the frick is it? Are you okay? Were you locked in here? I don't think I was supposed to let it out. What? Are, are you okay? Whoa! Ah! Ah, Kate! Stop! Ah! ah! Stay, stay back! Don't come near me! No! Let me go! Let me go! Let me get out of here! Ah! I was fast enough! That's bullshit! Let me go! Shake off! Shake off! Get off me, you bitch! <sighs> what was that? His neck was all crooked. He can't have been human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing c couldn't have been real. I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. Ugh, I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? Okay, can I push? Can I- Can I please? Can I please lock the tile? I'd rather not. But see, as soon as we leave this room, we don't know whether it's come out or not. <laughs> Actually, I should say we know whether it's come out. It has. <laughs> good. Yeah, that's good. How's my health doing? Oh, my health is fine. That's good. That's lovely. Let's do this then. Alright, that's good. Okay, so. We're supposed to be looking for Sissy, I think. Finding if Finding out if she has found what she needed. But she's not here anymore, so where would she be? Comes the question. I'm watching for you, Mr. Crooked Man. I, I find it kind of funny. As soon as David saw him, he's like, Oh, his neck was so crooked. Who was that? After he read the Crooked Man thing. Doesn't... Okay, so I gotta check all the doors again, because I'm not sure which ones are gonna open. Where's Sissy? I need to find Sissy. My number one goal right now, because I don't think I have anything else. I didn't find anything down in the basement except for the figures, so... Alright, last hallway to check. <laughs> okay, well, I found something! Was that Sissy? I don't know, was it? Oh, good! Sissy, what happened? The floor gave way, genius. I went to the window and the floor gave way. See? What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. No, I, I can't. I, I'm slipping. I can't possibly jump that far. A gap this big? There's no time for pessimism. It's gonna crumble quick. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah! Yeah! I made it! That, that was too close. Are you okay, Sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? So, so scared. I was so scared. No more. I, I don't like the dark. Why, why do I, I? It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's all right. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you're looking all alone. You can always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present or... It's a present for my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me. After my own life. Oh, I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but can you tell me more about them? Uh, well, I don't know that much either, just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? Well, I could have stayed and asked the landlady, but apparently David decided that was not the best way to go. <laughs> you're a strange guy, David. I am not. There's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how he looks because, uh... Well, because I'm a kind of a creepy stalker, but... Strange, but very kind. I would have been really hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful for you to, save to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see ya. All 
All right. Anything else in here? Or should I... Should I jump down the hole? It doesn't look like I can do that. It looks like David is not even considering doing that. Even though he's like, oh, it's okay if ghosts kill me. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't jump down a hole, apparently. All right. So, where to now? Is the monster loose? Did the monster cause the hole in the floor? The basement door is open. Yeah, see, you should have just stayed here. Just camped out here. Everything would have been fine. Let's go down and look. <laughs> oh, what a brilliant idea. This is such a smart idea. Let's go down to the place where the monster was. What was this? Our wine casks. Oh, a thingy, a wooden box, and a lamp, probably. A oh, bronze key, okay, fine. I was hoping it was the lamp, because there's lamp oil down here. All right, fine. A drum smells like gasoline. Anything in here? Unused equipment, well, maybe I want to use it. Did you ever think of that? Guess not. Okay, so I got a bronze key, right? Does it have any information about it? A bronze key, that's all I got. Okay, so I gotta go check all the locked doors again. Uh, please just open this one right here. No? Okay. Well, I gotta check all the doors. It's the one thing, like, there was one key that you got that was, like, the key to 109. But now that I think about it, if I got a key, it would probably say key to 109 or 107 or whatever. But this one does not. So I'm thinking maybe this is the door to the bar or something. Let's go check the bar. I feel like that should be called bar key. Just like, you know, tell me where it is. Use the bronze key. There we go. So what is in here? Empty beer bottles. Empty beer bottles of a completely different sort. Empty wine bottles. A few wine bottles, they seem to be full. Brandy has got tons of alcohol in it. I might just catch fire if I drank this. Yeah, I'm sure that would happen. Spontaneous combustion for people that drink wine. Happens all the time. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. A toast to our owner who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Also, what does that zero slash X mean? Zero out of amount that I don't know? I don't know. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff and stuff for the basement door. Having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly crap made this place impossible to run. Plus the Pasco with this thing was uh, was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. The hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but it sure as hell but sure as hell not us. Pasco was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. So some book has the passcode in it? Is that what it's trying to tell me? That's a really awkwardly phrased sentence. Oh, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food store is at the far end of the first floor, right? Passcode on food is pretty crazy. Unless you're trying to keep it from a monster. Empty beer bottles. Empty beer bottles. A glass. Empty beer bottles. Empty beer bottles. Even though those are the same as the full bottles over there that aren't actually beer. All right. Logic. So, it said something about a book. Check this book, and then I'll go to the library and check the books, maybe? Hotel register. No, it's not that book. Okay. Let's go check the library books. And see if there's something in there. Because something has to have the goddamn code. What about F for food storage? Nope. It didn't say what the book's name was, so... I'm assuming that sentence just meant that it was kept in a book. It was just so weirdly phrased. S to T? I knew it! I knew it! I called it! I called that, like, last episode I called it. But yet, no. I had to go find something else first. The blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde would be on the shelf, right? Yes, yes, it would. All right, chapter one, story of the door. Mr. Addison, the lawyer, was a man of rugged blood. da 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 Anything useful here? I have no idea. I've been through the book like six times. I have no idea what the code is supposed to be. Maybe my character figured it out and didn't tell me. I don't know. Excuse me? Hi. Hi, fucked up neck. No way, that monster did it really? Yes, it did, genius. Um, I can't move. Moving would be good. 
It's coming this way. I gotta escape. Um, okay. Jump down. Aha! If I drop him down here. Well, that's one way to do it. It's pretty awesome, actually. <sighs> what is that monster? So what I saw earlier. Damn, I can't believe such a thing exists. But there's no way it's coming back now. The room's under the room under is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. And for you, genius boy! Alright, so hopefully he's locked tight in the room down below. Which I believe was this one. Heels painted over. Well, isn't that one? One of these two, I guess. I think it was this one right here. Alright, I'm gonna try this. It's locked with a passcode. I don't know! I looked at that book like several times! I have no idea what the code is supposed to be! Ugh, I gotta go back and read the fucking book again. There's no numbers in here! There's like this one that's like 20 years. And then this one mentions something about 12. And then this one mentions something about 11, and then October 18. And... Uh, wait a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, hang on, I think I got it. Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 4. So, 3, 6, 7, 9. Did I just have a genius moment? I might have just had a genius moment. Because it talked about the four missing chapters. Gotcha. Gotcha, okay. If this is it, lock the passcode. Three. Oh, I think. Yeah. Three, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Wow. I was like reading through the pages, trying to like decipher the code. I'm like, there's gotta be some clue in the text somewhere. It's gotta be like October 18 something. There's a hint to the actual year. No, no, I'm just dumb. Okay. Trash can is empty. Stacks of beer cases. That's good. How do I get to that? You see something shiny, but it's out of reach. I know. So how do I get to it? The knife. A small fruit knife. That's a small fruit knife. More like that's what you use to carve a goddamn turkey. Okay, and wine cask, tableware and cooking utensils. It smells rotten. Well, that's good. This place has obviously been abandoned for a while. No one visits the Lakeview Hotel anymore. All right, let's grab the ladder. I could use this to get up to that thing. <gasps> no way. Got the key to 210. Alrighty. Let's go to 210 then. I think I have enough time. I don't actually know because I did a bit of looking around and that stupid book thing caused me to run over time. So I'm just guessing I still have time. So I think it's the one on the far right, I think is where we're going. I think. This one here. Unlock the door. Hello, there's a broken thing over there. Looks like someone was badly burnt. Is this a photo? It looks like it was a woman. Oh, it looks like someone dropped it like a pot or something. There's something under the pieces. Got a scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back, so I have to forget everything, good and bad. Ah, oh, my head hurts. What? Oh, let's settle down. I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. Well, there's beds right there. So he burnt this photo to clear his broken heart, huh? I No, I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Well, no. Sissy! Oh, there you are, David! Did, did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't go in, so it might be one of those. No, it's never in one of those. Trust me, as someone who's gone through many games that have locked doors and then also, like, painted shut doors, it's not in one of those rooms. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. Tell her about the fucking monster! What is wrong with you? But, Sissy, you should really leave now. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'll definitely be in danger, too. So I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places, either. But there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? You will be. Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling you the truth. <sighs> don't worry, I'm not mad. 
You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark? You can be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Yes, let's split up again, because that's worked so well the last two times. Can I sleep? Can I sleep? Can, can I can I sleep? I can't sleep. David's like, I need sleep, but I can't sleep. All right, so that that was check everything else in here real quick. Anything? Clock is stopped. Looks like the bathroom. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here for now. We've had some fun with the monster chasing us. That's been real fun. But anyway, that's all I got for this episode. Things are getting creepy here in the Lakeview. I mean, Ruinheim Hotel. Uh -huh. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, guys. I'll see you later. Boy, this memory. Anyhow, I can the lighthouse. Maybe. There are three bars of memory links. Well, that's kind of mean. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right, act. Okay, check. Cry. Why would I cry?